Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from TechLoot.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your iPhone to your external hard drive on Windows. So, let's have a look. I remember creating a similar guide a while ago, but some of you asked me whether it's possible to recreate it on Windows. And I would like to thank you for this request because this is going to help so many people who are using Windows and would like to do the same thing. So before we get started, it's a good idea to talk about what you're going to need before you follow this tutorial. And of course, the number one thing is to have your iPhone. And next, you're going to have to have one of those external storage devices. It doesn't matter if it's going to be an external hard drive, an SSD, a USB stick or an SD card, as long as it's an external storage device which you can plug into your computer and store data on it. In my case, we're going to use a USB stick because this iPhone only has 16 gigabytes of storage. So the storage is very small and will be easily fit on this 64 gigabytes of USB stick. Of course, if you have an iPhone of 128, 256, 512 gigabytes or more, then you're either going to need a USB stick with much larger capacity or you can purchase an SSD where nowadays a 1TB SSD can cost less than 100 bucks. And if you're interested to look for more choices of external storage devices, then I have written a whole article where I explain all the specifications about external hard drives, as well as my top recommendation list of the best external hard drives to buy in 2021 if you are on a budget. I highly advise you to read this article because if you read all of it, you'll be on top of everyone else when it comes to picking an external hard drive. So now you're probably going to ask me how much capacity do I need to have on my external hard drive? I would say to have about double or triple the amount of occupied space on your iPhone. And to check how much space you have occupied on your iPhone, grab your iPhone and go to settings, then go to general, go to about, and then scroll a bit until you see uh, how much available capacity you have. So in my case I have 60 gigabytes and I'm going to subtract the available space. So that leaves me with about 11.44 gigabytes available. So doubling that, I should aim for about 23 gigabytes of free space on my USB stick in order for the backup to be done comfortably. And that being said, let's go straight to this tutorial and show you exactly how to backup your iPhone on an external hard drive. To start with, go ahead and connect your iPhone and your USB stick to your computer. Next up, we need to find out where iTunes is storing all the iPhone backups. And to do that, head over to File Explorer and go to this PC. And before we do anything, it's a good idea to show all the hidden files on Windows. So to do that, we're going to go on View, go to Show and press on Hidden Items. And after that, then head over to your local drive, in my case is Windows 11, and go to Users, go to your username, in my case is George, I forgot the E at the end, that's fine. And now it really depends on whether you have downloaded iTunes from the web or from the Microsoft Store. If you have downloaded iTunes from the Microsoft Store, you should see a folder called Apple and double click on it. But if you haven't and you have downloaded from the web, then just follow me, go to App Data, go to Roaming, go to Apple Computer, and you should be here right now. Then click on Mobile Sync and go to Backup. This is going to be all the iPhone backups that have been done. So I'm going to go one uh, directory back and now I'm going to go and open my USB stick. So, so this is the USB stick that I have inserted. So just gonna right click on it and then open a new window. And here, as you can see, I have so many files, but it doesn't really matter. And all it matters is how much space I have available. And to check that, just right click on your USB stick, show more options, properties, and here you're gonna, you're gonna see how much free space you have. In my case, I have 24 gigabytes. This is enough space so I can store many backups from my iPhone which is 16 gigabytes on the USB stick. I'm gonna close this for now and what I want you to do right now is to right click and go on new, create new folder 
and name it as mobile sync just like that and the reason why we're doing this is because we want to move all the backups to your external hard drive before we do anything else so to do that go back to the previous window and then right click on the backup folder and then press on copy then go to your usb stick double click on mobile sync right click and then press on paste and this is going to take some time because there are so many files are being created when a backup is made by itunes could take a few minutes in my case it's going to take about 10 to 20 minutes and also depends on the external storage device that you're using if you have an ssd it's going to make the transfer much faster and of course it also depends on how many gigabytes the initial backup is so once the process is done i'll be back and show you exactly what to do after all right so once the transfer is done then we're going to go ahead and link mobile sync from your computer to the mobile sync folder that we have just created on our external hard drive so how it's going to work is that we're going to create a link from mobile sync to our external hard drive and when you do the backup itunes is going to think that it's storing the data on your computer but in reality this is not what happens when you do a backup from itunes it will automatically be stored on your external hard drive so this is exactly what we're going to do right now so to do this go to the start menu and then type command prompt just like that and here we're going to go ahead and copy and paste a command that i have written on the article so this is the article that we are following right now so as you can see we have uh, copied everything to an external hard drive and if you scroll all the way down to where it says backup iphone to external hard drive then you're gonna see the commands that you have to copy and paste now if you have downloaded itunes from the microsoft store that's the command that you have to copy and paste if not then this is the command that you're gonna have to copy and paste so we're gonna copy and paste this command so we're gonna press on the control and c key to copy it and then i'm gonna close this window and i'm gonna go on the command prompt i'm gonna press on control and v to paste it so i'm gonna enlarge it a little bit and here we need to change a few things so i'm gonna move the cursor by pressing on the left arrow key and i'm gonna delete where it says your username i'm gonna replace it with my username this is george just like that and before you hit enter just go back to your local drive where the backups are stored on your computer and right click on backup and click on delete just click on it right click and then press on the trash button and once that's done you just go back on command prompt and press on enter okay and there you go as you can see now you have the link created and when you double click on backup if you go back here you're gonna see this little icon right here there's a little arrow pointing to the folder if you click on it if you double click on it it's gonna actually take you to the backup but this is not on your local drive it's actually on your external hard drive so let's go ahead and try and backup our iphone again so i'm gonna go and launch itunes and and I'm gonna exit that, I don't need that. And then click on the backup now button. And once the backup is done, just close iTunes because we no longer need it. And let's go on the backup folder on the USB stick. And scroll all the way down, all the way down. And we're gonna notice that these files has cha have changed. And look at the time right now, they have just changed right now. So this indicates that we have successfully made iTunes to back up our iPhone on our external hard drive. And this is a great idea because right now you're not going to have to worry about not having enough space on your computer, but rather having an external hard drive solely for iPhone backups. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and please let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions regarding this guide i know there's some technical information mentioned to this video so if you do have any difficulties please let me know and i'll try to respond as soon as possible don't forget to share this video to your friends and of course if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to be the first one to see our latest videos and updates thanks for watching and as always i'm going to show you to my next video